Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Uh, first of all, I just want to say sorry because I didn't post a new video in two years. So that's because just I'm lazy. So um, this video is going to be about living in a dorm, which is my personal experience. And um, a little bit of Q&A, which I want to make because I just want you guys to post your questions and then I'll respond in the next video also I'm so happy that more than 200 of you guys texted me um, I was doing my best to respond if I didn't I'm so sorry that's just because I forgot or I had too many messages so you can just text me again um, yeah so living in a dorm uh, I came from living in an apartment with my parents which was really weird when I came in a dorm I was alone in a room and the room was empty I didn't have a roommate in that point so I was really really sad so the room is 10 square meters which is really small if you have a lot of stuff you can't put them there because I think it's made for people who live in Slovenia and they're just coming there during weekdays and they're going home during weekends so they just bring stuff and go back, you know. So, um, another thing that I didn't like was that bathroom and toilet and kitchen and everything was for the whole floor. So, I'm talking about 28 people sharing three bathrooms or three toilets, which is not cool for me. So, I didn't like that. And um, also, they have some dorms in Slovenia that are maybe six people sharing one bathroom and kitchen but this dorm was like this so I wasn't happy about that um, another thing that is cool about dorms is that you have a lot of people there and you're never alone and you can always invite someone uh, or call someone to go somewhere that's a nice thing but um, also you have a lot of things to do together during the year and um, you have some uh, games that you do and you have like um, two dorms that are like having a competition that's also interesting so you can go out and drink and that's a nice thing also my personal experience was not that good uh, when I had a roommate she was really cool and really nice but the room was really small so when she was sleeping I couldn't do anything so that's maybe not a good thing also if you are living in a country that is not so close to Slovenia and you can't go every weekend home so I think that's maybe that it's better if you live in an apartment and um, apartments are not that expensive uh, I'll link down below the page that you can go and search for them you can maybe find a room in an apartment that is already rented maybe two rooms are rented and one is uh, not so maybe you can also find an apartment and the price range for rooms if you're alone is maybe 180 plus electricity water and everything or if you're alone I think it's from 220 to 250 or something so that's not that bad also uh, don't be afraid to if you don't find it in a city center because Ugan is really small so you can go everywhere by walking you can use public transport that is really fast and uh, always on time also you can uh, go with um, by bike what is like city bike and you can use it uh, you can pay it for one year it's I think three euros or something and that's not expensive at all you can leave it anywhere on the bike stations I can talk about that more in another video if you want to so uh, I think that's really cool to use and um, also you can just um, that's my personal opinion if that you should maybe go in the, in the apartment if you want to go and experience the dorm you can try it so um, in next video I can talk about some experiences that I had and when I while I was living in Ljubljana if you want to know about that you can just um, uh, write down below also you just write your questions down and I'll film that in another video uh, so thanks for watching and um, I'll post my uh, social networks down below. You can follow me and text me anywhere you want and see you in another video. Bye!